Hello race fans and welcome back to the Mountain Dew Race Series. I'm Dylan. Welcome you here to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the second time this season for the running of the Pep Boys Auto 500. Race 25 of the season. The exciting race. Uh, we had a crazy race last week where we saw Josh Harris pull off a victory and almost lost it. We thought someone was broke on his car and Callum Wells almost caught him but Josh Harris held on to win his second race of the season so congrats to him. And that was last week at Bristol. We move on to this week here in Atlanta. And we got our first time poster this year. Another one. Don Poteen, the 20, is our poster today. On the outside of him is the 19 of Michael Causey. Row 2 has the 56 of Cade Stewart. And on the outside of him is the 29 of Peter Pelosi, one of the point contenders. You see Sean Wallace, another one right there. And Connor Breach and a couple guys up there in the points right there in your screen. Or on the screen for you. But should be a good race. The pace car is off. And Dalton Pote in the 20. And Michael Causey in the 19 will leave the field down to the green flag. And the start of the Pep Boy Auto 500. And Causey gets a good start on Pote right here. But Dalton Pote is going to regain the advantage and get back past the 19 right here. The inside lines where you want to be on this track apparently. Dalton Pote has the lead now. As they go down the back with a great view down the back of all the field. Don Pochi trying to try to hang on to the lead from Kate Stewart. He has to, uh, he's going to have to protect that bottom. Oh, Kate Stewart slid up. Here comes Sean Wallace in the 17. Watch behind him. we got three wide back there, and Don Pochi leads lap one. Here comes Sean Wallace for second place on Kate Stewart. Rodney Bradley's going to follow, and Peter Pelusi is in a bad position. He's in the middle between Aaron Rita and Michael Cosby. Cosby goes way up the hill. See if they make it off this corner. He, it's good racing right here, guys. AT Sean Wallace. Gave up the bottom to Randy Bradley. He's going to take second from Wallace. And now he's going to try to take the lead from Don Pote. He's got a fender under him. They'll be drag racing to the line. See who leads this lap at the line. It's still Don Pote, but I think Bradley's going to gain the advantage up here in the corner. And he does. So he's going to get around. Here comes Brian Cooper. And, and Kyle Wells has had two impressive weeks as of late. And he's up here. Ooh. Oh, we got a wreck. Aaron Reed's around. I think it was a single car wreck. Oh, is it? it was. How, how in the world was that only a one car wreck? Don't see many of those happen. Aaron Reed. He's on the very high side. He's trying to get around Peter Pelusi right here. He's going to come down. Oh, K. Stewart and Kristen Baker got together. And Aaron Reed's going to get turned. Nobody else really got damaged. It's just Aaron Reed. He scraped the rear of his car against the wall. I don't know if he's going to give him a lot of damage, but he's going to be way behind now. Go up here. See where everybody's running real quick. Here's Zohar. He's trying to move his way up. You see Rodney Bradley continues to lead. And Ryan Cooper is now second place. Don Pochi starting to lose his spot. Here comes Callum Wells. And here comes Ryan Tinsley. Now he wants to go under him. Make it three wide for third. Oh, and Alexander Dawson's going to get under him. Watch out, guys. Woo. You see the smoke right there from the Aaron Reed accident. And we got a battle for the lead. Here comes Ryan Cooper to the inside of Rodney Bradley for the lead. He's going to clear him. Another lead change. It's some good racing so far. Been pretty clean. That was just a single car wreck. That's been pretty exciting so far. See you back in the field and everything. Another outside poster. Michael Causey. His car is falling back just a little bit. Trent Dunn and Josh Harris are on the move. Back here some more. Don White in the middle. He's the winner from... He had his only win here earlier on the season. He was the winner here in Atlanta. First time around here. Doesn't look like he has the same car though. So we're way back here in the back. See Michael Grant bringing up the rear right now. Or, well, Aaron Reed, but anyway. Hey, Randy Bradley got back around Ryan Cooper, and he's going to lead this lap. we got five laps done. We're working lap six right now. 17. Out there, Dawson's making a move up to the front. Ooh, Callum Wells way up the hill. Three wide with Zohar Mudd on the bottom and Ryan Tinsley in the middle. Some great racing, though, that's for sure. And Ryan Cooper's taking the lead right back from Rodney Bradley. They just keep swapping the lead back and forth. Both these cars look really even. And here comes Rodney Bradley trying to get back under Ryan Cooper. It's about to happen again. Hey, look back here. Here comes Ralph Green, one of the more improved racers the second half of this season. He's been up, he's been able to up climb in the points there. Thing. He's having a good run again today. He gets around Alexander Dawson, but here comes Eric Matthews and Kristen Baker who's also looking for a really good run. Good run for Kristen Baker. Rodney Bradley has taken the lead again from Ryan Cooper. We're going to look at the field and see where everybody is. See where you're running in this race. There's Noah White again in the middle. 
Austin Carey, Blake Cooper, Spencer Perrette. This is some more guys, Mitchell Smith. Ooh, we gotta watch it with Lucas Blair. Trying to get on Connor Breeton. Strange McLeod, Red Bell, one of the points contenders. Don Pochi starting to fall back a little bit now. Who's all our money way up on the track? Gets Peter Pelusi and Ryan Tinsley under him. Three wide, not a good position for a point leader. He's just trying to survive. He wants to win a race, but if he's about the points, he just needs to get the best finish he can and not take himself out of the race. You go up here. Ryan Cooper continues to lead, but here comes Eric Matthews in the 38 to take the lead. Rodney Bradley got kicked back all the way back to fourth. And somebody we haven't heard out this much this season. Up at the front, Kristen Baker in the Retro 24 paint schemes up in third. Who would love to get up here and lead this race? He's going to help Matthews, but he did not get the lap by the time it was led by Cooper. Actually, he did credit him with the lap play, so Eric Matthews leads the lap gets bonus points. And Kristen Baker's going to try to set him up in that 24 car as they all try to freight train around the 66 of Ryan Cooper. We're going to check this. 24 car looks pretty quick. Oh, Randy Bradley. I don't know if he got in the back of him or not, but he shot him up the hill. Here comes Bradley and Alexander Dawson back on the bottom. Here's Jamie Muckley. Austin Hartman and Cody Woosley. Got some guys up here. Let's do a top 10 rundown. Eric Matthews in first. Rodney Bradley second. Kristen Baker third. Alexander Dawson fourth. Ryan Cooper fifth. Jamie Muckley sixth. Austin Hartman seventh. Cody Woosley eighth. Peter Woosley ninth. And James McLeod tenth. And look at this battle for 11. There are Ryan Tinsley, Colin Wells, and Dylan Pochi were nothing but stuck together. That's about all I can explain that by. Man, and you see the 17 was way up the hill. Sean Wallace, he's up there with Zohar Mudden and Ralph Green. There's all the point contenders, some of them right there on the high side. Just can't get off the top of the track and everything. They're losing spots left and right now. We go back up here, though. Eric Magic continues to lead and everything. He's pulled away a little bit. It gives you down the back stretch. See if anything else happens. And Spencer Perret is wrecked in the 40. I don't know what happened to him. Ooh, Connor Breton was with him. They're four wide. Connor Kincaid and Ken Johnson are under there. Connor Kincaid pinched Spencer Perret up into Connor Breton. They both got some damage. Spencer Perret obviously got the worst of it. Breton got a little bit of side damage. I don't think anything else happened. Ooh, Kevin Hall slid up right there. I think everything else is fine. Look at this, another four wide. Ooh, Ryan Tinsley, Zohar Mund are right there in the middle of it. Are they going to be able to work it out? Yep, somehow they do. Go back up here again. Randy Bradley's trying to run down the 38, Eric Matthews, but he drove in really hard right there. He's going to cost him the second spot. Here comes Jamie Muckley in the 45 sprint forward. He's, a, he's another guy looking for his first win. And Cody Woosie's up there trying to get his first win. We got 12 laps done. We're about to complete lap 13. So if you're ready to make a move, you need to make it now. This is the time to go to the front. Back here a little bit. Here comes James McLeod and Kristen Baker for the fifth spot. He has his teammate Austin Harmon right behind him. See the rest of the field once again. Something else has happened. Now James McLeod is going under Randy Bradley to take the fourth spot. And he's bringing his teammate Austin Hartman with him. Red Bull Racing going straight to the front, it looks like. But Hartman looks like he's trying to get around McLeod. I don't know what he's going to get to. Here comes Cody Woosley now to the inside of Jamie Muckley for second. As they continue to race, though, Eric Matthews just cruising up there in first. But that 83 car is coming. James McLeod. He's got such a huge run on Woosley. Woosley clears Muckley, but he's going to give up the second spot now to James McLeod, who is just rolling right now. His teammate couldn't stick with him. Austin Harmon's up on the high side. He's losing spots now. This 83 car is the fastest car on the track, I believe. He is going to run down this 38 car, I believe, Eric Matthews. McLeod already won once this year. He won at Michigan earlier on the season. He'd like to get another win and get his season back turned around. He's had some bad luck as of late. He's racing three wide back there. Oh, maybe. Good to down the back stretch. But this time by, they begin the white flag. So can Eric Matthews hang on? James, James McLeod was three tenths of a second quicker last time by than Eric Matthews, and he's right there. The white flag is out for Eric Matthews, but can he hold off the, the coming? Oh, we got a wreck. Oh, this is a bad time to do a replay real quick, but pause it right here. See what happened. Oh, we must have. Oh, we had a. Oh, Zohar Martin, the point leader, was involved. Oh, we had a huge wreck, and it started with Zohar. 
What in the world? Oh, so Zohar broke something. Oh, he stopped right in the middle of the field. Oh, mechanical failure on the 62 right there just caused a huge crash. I'm going to go on board them real quick and just listen, but I mean, it's just going to pretty much shut off. I don't know if something broke or he just like stopped. He just hit the, I don't know, I think he might have broke something. It doesn't look like it was an engine failure, I'm not sure. It would have been smoking. He gets hit by everybody. Ooh, Kate Stewart. Wow, the 56. Let's see who all was involved in this. I see Don Pochi, Trey Tinsley, Zohar Mutton. Michael Cosby just got a piece of it. Sean Wallace avoids it. Don Pochi, Tristan Dow, and Ryan Tinsley. I think all squeeze around. Lucas Blair is in it. Jacob Embry, another points container involved. Taylor Orndorff. Ooh. I think Blake Cooper avoided it. Oh, Connor Kincaid got a piece of it up there. Micah Grant's going to hit Kate Stewart. Nolan White, Ken Johnson down there. Jake. Rogers and Red Bell even got damaged. And look at Cade Stewart flip. Incredible. He got he got plowed by the 25 car, Michael Grant. And he's gonna barrel roll down here. Kind of looks like Michael Medell from a few years ago. They still land on his tires. I don't think anything else happened, but that was a tough break for those guys. But we go back up to the lead though. Eric Matthews and James McLeod are gonna be battling for the lead. Jimmy Muckley's right there in the 45. Does McLeod have anything for this 38 car? They go by Zohar Mundy, he's going to have a bad point day, but can McLeod run down Eric Matthews? He's trying the best he can. I think he needs like one more lap, it's not going to be enough. Eric Matthews comes off the final corner, he's going to win the Pet Boy Auto 500 at Lambert, his second win of the season. I thought if McLeod had just a couple more laps, I think he would have got up to Matthews. He dropped up on him now, I don't think he's really happy. I think he's frustrated about not being able to catch him. Muckley was there too. He was coming in that 45 car. But this race is over. Congrats to Eric Matthews for winning his second race of the season to help his season turn around, hopefully. At least get him up higher in the points than he is. Our running order, Eric Matthews, Jamie McLeod, Jamie Muckley, Ryan Cooper, and Mitchell Smith are top five. Smith kind of snuck up there and got fifth place. See, Austin Harvin, Randy Bradley, Kristen Baker, Nathan Bradshaw, Cody Woosley are top ten. See the rest of the running order. It was a crazy race, for sure. We saw our point leader get involved in the wreck. We saw Red Bell get in the wreck. Sean Wallace and Ralph Green, I believe, survived. Joe Hartman, it was a camshaft issue on that 62 car. I'd say Trey Tinsley had a clutch problem, but he was involved in that wreck. But there's the rest of your finishing order. But Joe Hart finishes 33rd. Fred Bell was in 27th, but. Bad days for those guys and gals. But not for Eric Matthews, who wins again this season. Congrats to Eric Matthews, Hill 38 team. His second win of the season. We'll be ready for race 26 at Richmond for the running of the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. And he's the point thing. And our new point leader, I think for the first time this season, Ralph Green in the 28. Our new point leader by seven points over Sean Wallace. Those guys survived and got around that big wreck. And now they're up there. You see Zohar is still within reach. Jacob Embry. Red Bell starting to fall back a little bit. Ryan Tinsley. Peter Paluzzi. Radney Bradley. And you can even throw in Josh Harris. All within 106 points. And Mitchell Smith's up to 10th in the points. Congrats on him being up there. But we'll show the rest of the point standings real quick. But it's a crazy race. I'm just saying it's going to come down to the last race to determine the champion, I believe. But, congrats again to the whole 38 team, Eric Matthews, and I will see you guys at Richmond. So, good night guys, and congrats again to the 38 team. Good race, guys.